day three now of that substation fire being called the number one priority in the entire country. It has consumed more than 50,000 acres, which is about half the size of the city of Portland. 900 homes on level three or two evacuation orders tonight. While nearly 300 firefighters are working to contain it, those high winds keep pushing it through dry fuels like wheat. That crop so vital to the land there and those who farm it. Let's go live now to our Cole Miller, who's in the Dales. And Cole, you spoke with one of those farmers. What did he have to say? Well, Jennifer, that farmer says, look, this isn't just about them. It's about you at home, too. A fire like this has serious ripple effects, not only destroying that crop and affecting the market, but these relentless winds we've been seeing out here all week then blow away that topsoil, making recovery that much tougher. Fire went west. Driving down Highway 197 just south of the Dalles. It would have came over these hills and right into the wheat. A close call for Camille Weimer. Those wheat fields off in the distance belong to her and her husband. The substation fire, as seen from the sky, burning tens of thousands of acres. That's the day. Farmers racing to the fields. Camille's daughter shooting this video, this one too, of the flames along the Deschutes. It turns out the Weimers were harvesting just 40 minutes before this fire broke out. Then it was all hands on deck. The sure panic of, of my husband was we need to get into our fire unit. We need to get there right now. And they did just that to save that crop, this water tender getting to work. We work hard, not only for, for us, but for everyone. Because without wheat farmers, without us, I mean, we actually help feed you. We actually help feed your animals. The Weimers consider themselves lucky. Of the 2,000 acres they harvest every summer, only about 60 or so were lost in the blaze. Others, they know, suffering losses much worse. One of our dear friends, dear neighbors, supportive wheat rancher of ours um, has been hit dramatically. He just has to totally rebuild. Governor Kate Brown speaking on the loss of that wheat today in Portland. This is definitely our wheat basket and it's going to impact Oregon. It's going to impact the world. And the crop that hasn't been lost keeps Camille optimistic. It's going to be an awesome year. I mean, the the farmers are going to continue going out. They're going to continue harvesting, and it's beautiful. And the governor says it'll likely take this fire being fully contained to know the full economic impact. Now, I asked the Weimers if they could ballpark a dollar figure loss. They, too, say it is too early. And Camille, who you heard from there in that story, says another wet winter would really help. But too much moisture, Jennifer, could erode those fields. A delicate balance for the farmers out here. Live tonight in the Dallas, Cole Miller, Coin 6 News. Oh.